Hello and welcome back to a brand episode of Hammercraft Season 4. It's so hard to not say Amplified. Oh man, I said it in my first video, guys, in the intro. I don't know if you guys noticed. I don't think anyone did, no one commented at least, but there was a small little cut where the word Amplified was, because I am a genius, of course, of course. But anyway, today I'm here on my island just repairing the top a little bit because this was... Um, well, there's a patch here of yellow, so I didn't really want yellow patches on the top of my base when uh, I actually want it to all be uh, hard and clay in colour because pretty much the mesa is very, very hard and clay. I didn't really ever think about it, you know, mostly because I've never built an a mesa, but most of it is hard and clay, which isn't a bad thing because hard and clay is the one you want for multiple colours of the rainbow of clayness. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. But, uh, yeah, so, um... I'm going to be live streaming in just a second, it'll be way too late for you guys, sadly, but um, I thought I would record before I live stream because I think that there are those things I'm going to do in live stream that will then have changed by the time I next record when I finish. So, one thing I want to do is basically uh, bring this level all the way around so we have a flat plateau on the top because right now it's very wonky and I don't really want it on this level, I want it one higher on this level. Uh, which matches up with that side as well, so it kind of makes it a little bit even. And right, very, very nearly looks at that Enderman over there. I don't know if you guys can quite see him, but he's very, very hidden. He's very, very hidden over there. Uh, nearly looks at him, which would not have been nice. I don't want to recreate episode one if I can help it, because that was a close one. Because as you can see, zero death still. Uh, Impulse has five, Iskar has six, and Azuma just got his second. Yeah. Bit of a rage quit from him, sadly, which really sucks. And I would I would say that in this live stream I will go and get some stuff and then gift it to him. But I mean no one has anything on the server right now. Um and I've not really spent that much time um since I didn't live stream last night, so you know, I don't have anything to give him, which really sucks. But um I also really want to build the bridge today, or at least start on it. It's a very, very difficult design idea I have. Because, obviously, I think I mentioned to you guys that I want to keep it quite natural in a theme. So, making a natural, like, you know, uh, archway kind of thing, which is basically what it's going to be, is going to be super difficult. And it's going to take a lot of time to get it looking natural, make it look cool, and then I'm just looking forward to the, f the part where I can make it detailed. So, I don't think I'll do that in live stream, but I thought I'd let you guys know just in case uh, we get onto that. But one thing I really, really need to do, um, since this is my only diamond piece of gear, is go enchant and gather diamonds and things like that. So that's what I'll probably do in live stream. I did, however, make this really awesome bow because there's a skeleton grinder right behind my base stat back there. But um, I'll catch you guys all in a second after my live stream when hopefully we've got a lot done. Okay, so I'm quickly down here at the skeleton grinder which should be grinding away over here. I've got my sounds off because, uh, well, they make a lot of noise as you may be able to hear. There are nearly 300 in there, I think. And I did some enchanting and um, we got all of these guys. Plus we got a simple touch and a fortune free in one live stream. So I'm pretty pumped and excited. I also got over a stack of diamonds with two mining challenges that I did. And you guys have been super supportive in live stream. I just want to say thank you. I feel like I have to shout over these guys. Let's move over here. They're super, super loud. But uh, yeah, massive thank you for everyone that has joined my live streams. I do them every single day. Most of the time it's Hermitcraft. Occasionally I do a Trucking Tuesday. Or I, do, I play on my Patreon server as well. But um, yeah, it's been super, super awesome. I don't know where this zombie is. Are you in there as well, mister? I don't know, I don't know. But um, this little tunnel here, if you're wondering, is up to my base. My base is literally just up that ladder there. Um, so I'm really, really close to this. Also, I have a lot of stuff. I've been here quite a lot. So I've been organising this a little bit, trying to get some full sets of quite nice looking armour uh, that I can enchant and do stuff with at some point, perhaps. Or maybe even sell, I'm not even sure. I know that I've got three really good bows right here that I thought, you know what, if I'm here quite a lot, collecting... Um, XP and stuff, I can always sell them to someone and set up a little bow shop or something like that. Um, even though I'm pretty sure people have better stuff than me that go AFK fishing. But anyway, we need to kill these guys. I've got a looting free sword on me. Yes, it's got fire aspectors too, but... Whoa, hello. Are you gonna try and punch me out the way? Boom. Oh my god, that's... Well, rip sounds. Everything just went. Oh my god. Okay. There's a lot happening right now. I'm probably gonna get a lot of levels by doing this. The only problem with this, by the way, though, is, <laughs> is well, firstly I need to combine things as I go, because otherwise, like, 
the inventory gets full. But what happens is that all the mobs that have armor on that die then drop their armor and the other ones pick it up, etc. So, yeah. That's something that happens. But look, over 30 levels already. So I'm going to do this for a little bit. We are then going to go and try and get an iron sword that I can enchant that doesn't have this crazy, crazy stuff on it. And uh, yeah, and apparently my levels keep going up. So this is a pretty, pretty good mob farm right here. Let's have another quick shot of them. Boom! Take that. <laughs> it's too much fun. It's too much fun. Okay, so there may be something over there that I don't want to look at too much because they might be spoilers by the time my video goes up, but... <laughs> I'm just going to let you guys see see a very misty little figure over there which has, let's just say, a very interesting facial expression. Uh, that's what just stopped me in my tracks and I was like, uh, okay then. So, apparently Azimra is someone to uh, watch out for. Yes, it's, it does sound ominous. Uh, Zombie Cleo obviously hasn't seen it, so <laughs> she has no idea. Uh, but yeah, that's definitely something. Anyway, today... Right now, we are meant to be building this bridge, because right now, this is what we got going on. I don't know if I showed you guys uh, at all, I don't know if I did this in the last episode or whatever, but it is super funny, because what happens is zombies will come and go get me, uh, they'll get to here, and then as soon as I move over here, or I, I was going back and forth there, but I built this because I was lazy, and then as soon as they see me come over here, they go around and then come this way, and it's hilarious, they go back and forth, and their AI definitely trolls them quite a lot, I, I feel, or at least they're trolling me, I'm not sure, I'm not sure which way around it is, I think I'm trolling them kinda with this, but yes, we need to change this bridge, we need to build something cool, awesome, something to make people go, Okay, cool. Fox is definitely building over there. That is where she's building, because right now, this is all I've got. I've got this for Enderman. I've got some cake for people to come and come and eat when, they're, when they want some. And then I've got my little base down here. However, in my live stream, which you guys probably didn't see, maybe, maybe some of you guys did. Quite a lot of you guys were there. So, uh, we have a room now. Yeah. A room. Five tall. We have a second room five tall and then we found something very awesome in this room down here yes look at that the rarity of spawners is pushed upwards so i don't know if this one is necessarily actually in the world uh for normal uh people i guess i don't know or for normal generation but yes we have a zombie spawner which i'm so excited for i had to put a sign on it making sure that people didn't use it in case uh they found it or whatever but yeah um yeah, uh, it's in my base now, and we've got a little room down here as well that I have dug out. But yeah, so we were coming up with loads of ideas in my live stream about this guy. Uh, this room's going to be five tall, we're going to have glass along there, and hopefully this bit of the floor here will look like a dungeon, and we'll be able to see them spawn, but they won't be able to spawn on the floor above or below or whatever because it's glass and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm very, very excited about that. That's going to be hopefully pretty awesome. I'll have to maybe keep that room dark. Maybe I'll make that my, like chest room i'm not sure but i'll definitely need lights that i can turn on and off in there so maybe i'll need some help from another hermit perhaps for that so if anyone anyone's watching another hermit perhaps uh let me know if you can help me on that that'd be great because i literally have no idea how i'm going to go about that but yes we are having some issues with chests right now we've got four full chests there we've got this chest where Ren Dog gave me some supply as he's called them um in there they were in there I've, I've planted them and grown them and got some spruce wood, some acacia wood, some jungle wood, some dark oak wood, all the woods. Um, and then we've started building chests in, in the wall there because, yeah, too many chests, too many items, and we made an emergency milk. So I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy with how things are going right now. But yes, we've also got the one sleep bed thing where we can all just, one well, one person needs to sleep in a bed and then it becomes daytime. It's awesome. It's awesome. It's awesome. So, I'm pretty pumped. But yes, I'm going to get my stuff together. We're going to get our blocks. We're going to start building a, a natural bridge. Yes, like I've said before. And I'm pretty excited. I might be able to time lapse this. There's not going to be any movement in the time lapse because I don't think Camera Studio is updated, etc, etc. We're not even on quite 1.9 yet. So, hopefully, fingers crossed this will work. And uh, let's go ahead and start building this thing. Okay, so before I go too crazy, I wanted to bring you guys along to kind of see what I was planning out here. So, this is it. Now, I have a screenshot on my other uh, screen of, like, a natural generation of... Uh, an actual, like, kind of Mesa-themed uh, archway. So, we're kind of going off that a little bit. And um, we're going to be going off the shape, too. So... 
Yeah, I've got the archway sorted. This is the arch that's going to happen here. Problem is, we also need to do the arch underneath, and it has to be a bit, you know, stronger of an arch, I guess. A little bit more steep, uh, a little bit more, um, kind of, like, I guess, so... Perhaps, let's quickly see if we can add two there, there we go, that kind of archway, in fact that might actually be kind of perfect, we need to do the same on the other side of there, so this is going to take a lot of back and forth, having a look at it from over here, having a look at it from over there, actually can I even see it properly from over there, I guess from where XP's little corner is there, maybe I'll be able to have a look at it, which is good because he hasn't built anything yet, so technically I can stand here without any problems, although this here doesn't seem to be actually in his uh, his plot. But yes, I can have a look at it from both sides. You can't really see it too clearly. That's only the only problem. But hopefully we're going to be able to make this all natural looking. I'm going to build it all out of um, hardened clay first. I will maybe fill it in after rather than now. I don't know if I should fill it in as I go. It might be better because then at least like if there's uh, like an issue with the, f the fact that it's going to be an organic build, then I can just like, you know, get rid of a piece but th and then there'll be a piece underneath rather than there being a gap and being very awkward. But I haven't decided yet. We'll have to see. But I'm excited about this. I'm now going to run a time lapse because I have no idea how else to record this. So uh, we're going to do a time lapse from a few different positions. I hope you guys enjoy it. Remember to leave a like if you do enjoy the video. And uh, yeah, definitely catch my live streams too. Hopefully we'll do a bit of building in that as well, uh, perhaps. And uh, yeah, um, let's roll that time lapse. Oh, well, there you go, guys. That was a time lapse and a half. It's very sad having it just all still, though. That's the only thing. I'll get that sorted as soon as I can. Obviously, we got to just wait till uh, mods are updated, and maybe even the replay mod might work. I don't even know. I'll have to look into it. But yes, uh, I, I love a time lapse. You guys know me. But here we have it. Let's have a look at it without being in a camera account. Yeah, it looks nice, because we need to make it look, make sure it looks natural from a standing point of view, you know, we want to be able to just stand in place, we don't want to be floating in the sky somewhere, you know, uh, hmm, this side, I don't know, man, this side definitely needs more like, like, here, coming out, perhaps, I don't want it to look, you know, to, I want it to look nat as natural as possible, I think I'm gonna probably just spend time you know, oh god, every, every, like, time I'm on, you know, if I look here and I see there's something wrong, I'll just have some clay on me, and I'll fix it up, but yeah, I am kind of running out of clay here and there, whoa, hello, you okay there, oh god, I've got them all coming for me, I just want to fix up this bit here, can we not just do that, this is the problem with night time, I was let, letting it stay night time, because that's the one bit of the time lapse I really like, except for the fact we don't have, <laughs> we don't have our cool sky texture, that's the only thing, our sky texture is currently this, <laughs> default. But, um, okay, let's quickly see if we can pop down here. So, yeah, I just need to, like, add, like, some depth going on here, I think. I think that's really what we need. Uh, I'm trying to, like, make it kind of have a bit of a shape, you know. It's, it's difficult, it's difficult. And, like, if you guys are, uh, are someone that, you know, does a lot of, like, organic stuff in Minecraft, then uh, you might be right at this, but I'm not. I'm not someone that does organic stuff, so let's have a quick look at that. You just kind of got to place it. But yeah, my camera account is helping me out in that I could have a look at what is going on. That looks a little bit better. I might even add another one there. Just to make it, make it look, look like it kind of smooths into this, this kind of... Especially as it goes back there. I need to make it look like it smooths into here a little bit. So, I'll do a little bit more. 
Probably something like that. Hey, friend. I don't really want you near me. I just want to have a quick look at this. Can you let me have a look at this quickly? Please? Oh, there's two scaly bobs over here. This is not going to end well, is it? I haven't even got my, uh, definitely put my shield. Ah, shield, come here. Come here, shield. Oh, God. Guys, I just want to have a look at this, okay? Guys? Guys, okay? Give me a second. No. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, well, we've had a look at <laughs> I guess that's that's all they're going to let us have. Anyway, I think it looks cool, but it doesn't look 100% natural. One, because we need some uh, some more of the colour clay in it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the stripes back uh, where they need to be. That means we'll then collect a little bit more hardened clay back. So I'm running out. This is, like, I think all I've got right now with hardened clay. Yeah, I've used it all on the bridge. So we're going to add the stripes back for where they need to be. Uh, maybe even some are higher up here. And then I want to start adding grass and... And stuff like that on top. So I'm hopefully, uh, you know, I've got silk touch picks, so we'll be okay. And then I want to build a tree on top. I don't know if I'm going to get that done this episode. I'm going to try to. Hiya! Um, and then we should be okay. But let's give this a go. And hopefully we won't get too many zombies or mobs coming to try and kill us. We're still on zero deaths. We got this, guys. We got this, okay? At least need to be alive till episode 10. That would be awesome. That would be so awesome. Okay, so you guys will have to exclude, uh, excuse the, uh, the gloomy sky. The sky is raining. Look. Raining over here. And I really do like the rain. I love the fact that it rains on there. Like, I really do. I really honestly love the fact that it rains just on my bridge. And then when you get over to my base, it's like all sunny and stuff. It's great. And I'm going to say sunny. I mean, obviously, not sunny. But you know what I mean. When I get my custom sky texture to work, uh, we will be sorted. And we'll have the lovely, beautiful sky back again. But for now, we don't. And uh, what I'll try and do is update my uh, texture packs down below so that you guys know exactly what is going on. Because so many people ask me what my texture pack is usually. But obviously, um, right now, I'm using default because 1.9. But anyway, so uh, in the live stream, I've actually done quite a lot in the live stream. I have done this. I've added the grass and things like that. I always need to add a few half tabs on this side. I haven't quite decided where they're going to go on this side. But uh, something like that. I don't even know. We'll, we'll, we'll play with that in a second. And also... We've been working down here a little bit. This is obviously my crummy storage room that just is the worst. We've got this in here which we moved over so that this down here is in the centre. And I also played around with this, which I really like actually so far. I was I was thinking that this would be the best room to have as a storage room because of the darkness down there when we have that as a dungeon. And then we'll have a little light, light switch somewhere that can turn lights on down there to stop them spawning and things. And then that'll be cool. And then the floor below will probably be redstone, actually, because I'm thinking I will be able to easily put lights down in, in, in here because I can put redstone behind the walls. But if there's a switch up there and a lamp down here, the redstone will have to go underneath and under here. So that might that room might, down here might have to move downwards some more, perhaps. I don't really know, but I'm going to leave that plane for now. I'm not going to touch that room at all. In fact... This room is still wonky, yeah, this is this is the room, this is what the usual room was, the ladder was in the middle, and now the ladder's to the side, because, uh, yeah, it's, it's only temporary ladder anyway, but, yeah, the room wasn't central to the spawner, but now it is, because we didn't know that was there in the first place, so, that's cool, but anyway, what I'm gonna do now is play around with a tree, so let's quickly head up here, oh, Mum is sleeping, which is nice, uh, it means that we hopefully won't get exploded on the top of this thing up here, yes, I'll sort out the half slabs, but... This is where I want the tree. I want it kind of coming off the side of of the area. So I've got a little screenshot of a custom tree I was playing around with. So let me have a quick look at it. I'm thinking it's going to fit up here quite nicely. So this is the idea. It will kind of like lollop off of the <laughs> off of the side of the the thing. Sleep doesn't stop rain. I know, right? The rain is the absolute worst. I don't know what is going on with the rain. <laughs> It's rain in the mesa. Stay home. My bridge, though, is on. It's on. Why? Why? How? Oh, I think I've ruined the fact that I made all of this like too high, so nothing could get up other than for spiders. But I've kind of started ruining it a little bit, so we'll have to make sure that's safe again. But yeah, so this is the idea, and then we'll have like logs coming off the side and stuff. I'm gonna do this off camera because it's a it's a lot of work and a lot of messing around and, and trial and error. So. I'll be right back in a little bit, and I'll show you guys what the tree looks like. Then we'll add some leaves to it, and then we'll add some detail. But I'll show you guys what the tree looks like. We're going to finish it up now. And it might take a little while, but it hopefully should look pretty cool. Um... Uh... Um... 
<laughs> oh, I didn't quite get it on camera. Oh, no. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> one death. One death it is. <laughs> oh, I can't believe that. I can't actually believe that. Oh my god, okay guys. Smite it is. <laughs> Let's go get our stuff back. I can't believe it. The third episode, guys. Who would have guessed it? If only there was water right below there. Not quite. I had no chance to even try and organize myself moving towards the water. But, um, okay. At least it's, at least it's happened. It's happened now. You didn't pick up a sword, which is nice. And uh, all my stuff is just everywhere. Ripperino, there we go, guys. No worries about the death now. <laughs> oh god, <laughs> dang it! I can't believe that. Dang, Skelly shot me. I, I fell and I was on half a heart, and then I saw a Skelly, and I was just, I just stood there. I froze and was like, "This is it, guys. This is my death." <laughs> I saw my my uh, my life flash before my eyes. Ah, <sighs> well, I think that's all my stuff at least. So you know, at least it wasn't in lava. So. I'll take that. I'll take that. GG. <laughs> okay, so the tree is made. We've added some lighting. We've added some other stuff. I do need to do a whole bunch more tweaking. Like, right now, this needs to be dirt or grass. Well, whatever it turns into, I guess it's going to turn into grass. Uh, we also need to, if I have some wood on me, make a, a little ladder down here. I don't know where it's going to go yet. I need to obviously work that out. But uh, I do want, maybe, to be able to go inside the bridge. Just... Just as like a little thing that is there, which I think might be kind of cool. I could be wrong. I don't know. We will try something. We'll try something. I might get rid of this crafting table. I thought it would be quite, quite nice having one there. But now I'm thinking maybe not so much. We also need to put some vines in places and let those all grow, grow and go crazy and then chop them off and do all that kind of jazz. You guys know, you guys know what, what's up there. You guys know already what I do with vines. I chop them off and then... Uh, yeah, I, I put string where they need to stop. That's kind of the way it's done. Uh, I'm also going to do that along here. Um, and let them just kind of grow a little bit crazy. And then once they've grown to their full length, I just like chop them off and like, you know, do all that kind of thing. So we've got a few vines. Let's put some on this side as well. Perhaps some on that. Uh, I really, really love, though, this area right here because... Look at the grass. The grass and the leaves turn different colors. It's like it's, all, it's almost like it's almost like autumn, you know, autumn leaves kind of thing. I also wanted to maybe put some birch in with this. I don't know how green they are though. I did think they might be quite green. I don't know if these are green or not. Oh, they are green. So I might like put some of these in here in places, but it might it might look a bit off. So I don't know. I'll have to tweak it a little bit. Yeah, it looks okay. Kind of gets rid of the, 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 the gradient that's going on, but I don't know. Might look okay, might look okay. So I could put, like, green there, for example, and things like that. Uh, but I'm not sure. But yeah, so we've done we've done all that. Let's put green there as well. Let's put a green over here. Just so we kind of bring in a little bit more green over this side where it's maybe a little bit uh, brown, I guess. Brown and dusty and all that kind of jazz. So let's put some more vines on that side there. Not green, though. That kind of sucks because... I would have quite liked some green on that side. That's the only thing with vines I couldn't do. So grass now. Um, I want to start adding some grass. I obviously want to add some long grass as well, which I don't know why I thought that you could like um, pick up long grass. Like obviously I've picked up this grass because I wanted to place it by hand kind of thing. But I thought you could pick up long pieces of grass. You can't. I'm an idiot. You can't. I thought I was like shearing these long grasses thinking... Oh, okay, it doesn't work like creative mode. You can't, like, pick up a piece of grass and be like, yeah, this is the grass that I'm going to use. So you have to, like, bone mill it every time you put it down, which isn't a problem, of course. But, um, yes, this is basically making it suddenly look a whole bunch better. I don't know about you guys, but to me, this already looks better, ten times better than it did. So um, that's something which is cool. And then we're going to keep this little slot here quite clear because this is mainly the kind of path you would take, I think going upwards. We also need to add some flowers, so I've got a free oxide daisy, I've got some blue orchids which I want to put in specific places where, you know, it gives it a nice mix. One there perhaps, one there, and then we want to add a whole bunch of these little baby ones which actually look quite bright in this uh, in this terrain. So maybe not too many. Oh no, rip. 
Ripperino, that, that grass, I need you there, grass. You've got to be there, okay? There we go, stay there. Um, and can I put one there? I can for now. It kind of hides that little bit of a ladder. Uh, put one there, and then we'll put one down here. And then we do want a couple of oxide daisies as well, which I'll put one there. I'll put one over here, and then I will put one all the way over here somewhere, perhaps, if I can get some... I don't have great grass on me, but maybe we'll just put dirt for now. We can turn it into grass if we want to. There we are. Trying to look over my image. Oh, yeah, what I need to also add, my idea, was spruce fences, which I could have used, like, something brighter, perhaps, to contrast things, but, you know, I kind of decided that I, I want to use the dark kind of colours and things like that. I really want to kind of keep keep it kind of looking a little bit dungeony. Dungeony? How is that even a term? I'm not even sure, but um yeah, I think I quite like this so far. Let me know what you guys think, obviously, down below. I'll probably tweak this here and there, um, in various places. Uh we also want to do one this side as well. Let's quickly while we don't have an awful lot, put one over this side. This is where I will want my my little sign that says welcome to Falsy's uh, base or whatever. Let's put it on there. Falsy's. Actually, no, let's call it Falsy's humble abode. As always, you guys know that I like to call my base that. <laughs> There we are! Okay, so I'm probably gonna spend a whole bunch of time tweaking this a whole bunch. We've got two more fences, we might as well place them. Place it there and there for now. I'll probably make a whole bunch more. And I just really, really like this, actually. Um, let me know what you think. Uh, let me know if there's anything you think I should add. I might need to add some more... I'm gonna add some more leaves around this place and stuff like that. We're also probably gonna add glowstone when I have some underneath the bridge itself so when it's night time it glows underneath the bridge and not on the sides but just underneath the bridge so you just see a glow you don't see the actual glowstone itself and stuff like that but yeah i forgot to add the in live stream i also made this kind of merge a bit better by putting the stripes back into the bridge which was awesome so that's sadly it guys remember to leave a like if you have enjoyed the episode let me know what you think down below of this um and i will catch you guys in the next episode of hermitcraft season four and i will catch you guys next time see ya when stanley approached the end of the video he clicked the subscribe button